this video, I'll show you how easy it is to connect to Snowflake Data Warehouse from Databricks Notebook using a Spark Snowflake connector. This connector supports bi-directional data movement between Snowflake and Databricks. Let's take a look at a demo. Here I have a demo notebook, which will demonstrate how easy it is to configure the out-of-the-box Snowflake connector. Uh, we can write the data into Snowflake, and also we will also read it from the table that we will write to. So the first step is to set up the connector options. In this example, I'll be using Scala, but certainly Python can be leveraged as well. In order to connect to Snowflake, there are a few pieces of information that we need. First is the URL. We also need the user ID and password. So these three pieces of information, well, I've stored it within Databricks secrets. So I'm retrieving that and assigning it to a few other variables. We, are, we need to set up this options variable uh, with uh, additional information such as Snowflake role, Snowflake database, schema, and also the data warehouse within Snowflake that we'll be utilizing. The next thing we want to do is to create a table called customers. In order to do that, what I've done is I've imported the class that I need, uh, which is run query. I've specified the table name and I'll be using this variable across the entire notebook. We will utilize this run query, which requires, uh, this method requires two pieces of information. One is the options variable that we specified earlier. And then the second is the the query that we want to execute. So in this case, I'm executing two different queries. First is to create the schema in case that schema doesn't exist. And then the second thing is to create the table under the schema uh, with the appropriate um, you know, attributes. So let's run these two queries. And by doing so, it will create the table in Snowflake. Let me switch over to Snowflake quickly and run a count query to see how many records exist in that newly created table. So as you can see, that there are zero records. Let's switch back to Databricks. And the next step we want to take is to take some data from a file uh, that's in Databricks. We want to write that data into Snowflake. So let me just take a look, take a peek into this file quickly to see the content of it. Here I can see that there's information regarding pe persons. Uh, the next step is for me to just quickly load that data set into a data frame and I can take a look at the count. This is just to make sure that the, the amount of records that are coming in from the file are the ones that are actually being written to Snowflake. So in this case, we have 32,561 records. That includes the header. And then the next thing we want to do is basically set up um, a, a, a read from that CSV file. In this case, I'm also specifying that there is a header that's, uh, that exists, so we would want to ignore that first header. Write that into Snowflake, and the, we want to specify the options using that variable that we created previously. We want to append the records and write it to the table, which is the customer table within Snowflake. So let's execute this. Once this is executed, we'll go back into Snowflake and run a count query again to make sure that we, sh we have 32,560 records because that one record of header uh, should be ignored. Let's go back to Snowflake and run the select query. And as you can see, there's 32,560 records that were written. Now we'll switch back to Databricks, and now what we want to do is we want to retrieve that entire Snowflake table into a data set. So all I'm doing is just reading that complete table. Let's do that, and we will execute the count to ensure that it's the same exact count, which is 32,560 records. We can also display these records if we choose to, certainly. Um, and Additionally, let's say you want to filter the records rather than retrieving the entire data set into Databricks and then running filter at the data, data frame level. What you can essentially do is pass in the, 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 the var clause an additional SQL to do some more filtering directly within Snowflake before that data is retrieved 
into databricks okay so let's do that here where we are taking records we, we are only interested in records that have pe pe people with age less than 18 and we're assigning that to uh, under 18 data set data frame okay we can do a count uh, to make sure that the count uh, is lower certainly because there are a lot less 18 year olds in the data sets than everyone else so in this case we have 395 records uh, and certainly we can display the data set as well if we choose to do so so you saw how easy it is to connect to snowflake write data in and read data out of it from databricks and certainly uh, I can take additional steps to write the content of this data frame into Databricks Delta table uh, to run some adv advanced analytics or utilize it for machine learning use cases as well. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more how-to videos and tons of other Databricks content.